Today in the MTD CNC Tech Corner, I have Jeremy from Fuchs and we're gonna find out all about their smart services. But Jeremy, before we go into the smart services, can you give us a bit of a background on you and what your job roles have been working for Fuchs? Yeah, of course. So I've been with Fuchs for 13 years now. Uh, I started out as a technical specialist working as part of our central technical team. Uh, that involved project management, equipment installations, supporting our customers in general. Uh, I then moved into a regional operations role, looking after the north of the UK uh, with what is our smart services area. Uh, I then went and spent uh, a number of years in a sales uh, role, uh, looking after our customers and supporting them going forward. And, and then I moved into a UK operations role uh, where I was responsible for 70 individuals across our smart services program. Uh, and my role currently is uh, global BDM for smart services. So really there isn't a role at Fuchs you haven't been and done, which is brilliant. <laughs> you have knowledge in all aspects of the business though. Absolutely, I, I've got the operational knowledge uh, for supporting our customers from a smart service uh, side of things, but I've also got the commercial understanding as well. So it's important to understand what our customers need, what they want, but then be able to deliver that service through our smart services provisions. Now, smart services, what are they and what are you using them for? So smart services are there to complement our product supply. So we already have first class lubrication and lubricants that we can provide to our customers, but our smart services support that. So when the lubricants are in the assets, when they're being used in the machine tools or in the, the, app, the point of application, our smart services programs are there to enhance the life cycle of the asset, but also of the lubricant. And talking of smart services, there's always one section that people don't think about, and that's predictive maintenance. So how do you predict when things will be going wrong and how to fix them beforehand? Absolutely, so we use sensor technology, so we have inline sensors and monitors that will identify problematic assets and problematic machines before that issue arises. So it allows us to go to the asset itself, sort the problem out, whether that could be contamination within the asset, uh, where uh, in a gearbox, we can identify that by using sensor technologies. And we also utilize our Fluid Connect digital platform to be able to record that information and that activity that makes it transparent to our customers. And what other data are you collecting through smart services? So we'll collect consumption data, so we'll be able to identify high usage assets. We'll also be able to connect uh, with thermography sensors and vibration analysis sensors as well. So we can see from all areas of our operation how the, the asset itself is performing in its relevant condition. And if you can see it from all aspects, then surely there isn't, this isn't industry specific. This can be used in all industries across the board. Absolutely, smart services uh, fundamentally was started uh, to manage metal working fluid systems uh, and metal working fluid machines. That's now expanded massively into other areas. So we provide lubrication management support and that could be lubricating a, a plant based on a desired frequency and schedule uh, right through to sort of value added services such as early detection services, thermography, oil based condition monitoring. Now, I just want to talk a little bit about that early detection because obviously, if we go into a machine shop, I know this product can be used in a vast array of places, but if we talk about machine shop, when you're, when you're running downtime, you're not making no money. So how does this make you more efficient in making sure things keep running all the time? Well, the important thing with smart services is it will reduce overall consumption. We understand that, and to say that from an oil company is probably quite, quite strange, <laughs> but that's what we want. We want to be a partner to our customer. We want to be a solutions provider. So when we offer our smart services, we wanna make sure that we reduce the consumption and we support our customers for a long time. We don't just want to come in, make the improvements and disappear. We wanna have that long-term partnership with our customers to empower them to operate more sustainably. So essentially, you're not looking for a sale, you're looking for that partnership because like you said, and I, I just want to reiterate this because I think that's such a great way is you don't want to be in, sold, out. You want to be with them for the long run. You want to help them in all aspects of the smart services you offer to customers. So smart services has got quite a lot under its belt. Yeah. So what sort of training and support do you give customers who take this on? So we take our customers through a strict process if you like. So we have our understanding phase, we have our development phase, our management phase and our iteration phase. 
So initially we understand what the customer's problems are and that can be very, very small from a simple equipment provision. It can be an improvement in the way they handle their lubricant from their stores area right through to the actual asset itself. We then set up a managing, management program, which is our Fluid to Connect platform, which is a complete 100% digital platform that we use to create that transparency for our customers. And then the final stage is the iteration. What we do in that area is we create the training modules with our customer. We educate them on the safe and the best practices and principles for applying their lubricants. But it's also about adjusting the mindset and the culture on the facility as well. There's no point putting the improvements in place if once we then hand it over to the customer, those old, <laughs> if you like, practices come back in and the, if you like, the management of the fluids falls back under the level where they want it to be. But I like the idea that it isn't just training someone to use it, it's training someone to change how they think about using smart services and lubricants in the building. Absolutely, and the importance of it as well. So things such as uh, we, we do things like colour coding transitions. So we will do simple steps where we will colour code the asset, we'll colour code the container that the product sits in. Very, very simple steps that create a huge improvement in overall lubrication culture and mindset. And it's just, it's just them. And sometimes it's the littlest changes that Absolutely. can make the biggest difference. Now, you might not be able to tell me this, but I'm going to ask you anyway. <laughs> what are the future plans for smart services within Fuchs? Well, future plans for smart services will very much be focused around sensor technology. So we're already developing sensors ourselves and working with partners to make sure that we've got 100% visibility across all assets 100% of the time. Automation is key. We know where the industry is moving towards. We know where we want to get to, but it's all about that, making sure that we reduce overall consumption, we increase machine uptime, and in essence, we enhance that sustainability and that reduction of CO2 for our customers. Well, I think for anybody at home who's watching, there's quite a lot to think about then. There's a lot they may not have even thought about themselves. So if they've seen anything or heard anything and want to know more information on it, how can they get in contact with you guys at Fuchs? Well, we've got our website, our Fuchs UK website, and we've got a team of people on the ground with our customers day in, day out. So you can reach out to anybody within our website. If you see any of our uh, team members out on site, please ask them the question, get in touch. The important thing with what we offer through smart services is it's about people. As you can see from our strap line, lubricants, technology, people, the people are the foundation to our organization, our business. We want to be in front of our customers, supporting them in partnership to grow and to develop their lubrication practices. Just get in touch. Well, Jeremy, it's been great to hear from you on all the benefits of smart services and why customers should be taking on that technology. And again, thank you for your time and visiting us here at the MTD CNC Tech Corner today. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.